This video is presented by the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch. It provides a demonstration of the process that police of jurisdiction will use to review special event permits through the LCRB's Liquor and Cannabis Licensing Portal for Police. Our previous video provided an overview of the review process for a special event permit. In this video, we show you how to navigate our online licensing portal to review special event permit applications. To use the online licensing portal, all users must have a business BCEID login. Each police jurisdiction should identify one person to be the business account manager responsible for managing all BCEID credentials for their offices. If the police jurisdiction does not already have a business BCEID account, the business account manager will register for one on the BCEID website. For instructions about registering for BCEID, see the document titled Important Information for Police of Jurisdiction Special Event Permits. Once the business BCEID account is set up, the business account manager will use those BCEID credentials to log into the LCRB licensing portal. When the business account manager sets up their account in the licensing portal for the first time, they must click on the Request Activation button in the dashboard before they can begin working in the licensing portal. The business account manager will also set up business BCEID access for individual police users as each police user who will review special event permit applications must have their own business BCEID login credential to use the licensing portal. More details on this can be found in the business BCEID account and profile management guide. This is the website to access the licensing portal. After using your business BCEID to log in, you will land on the home page. Here are some areas of the portal you may use. Your account profile is accessed in the top right corner. The All Applications tab lists all special event permit applications within your police jurisdiction. The My Jobs tab lists those applications that have been assigned to you. Let's begin in your account profile. In the top right corner, you will see your name and your jurisdiction. Click on the drop down arrow and select Manage Account. This is your account profile. The section Police Contact contains your information. This is the email address you will be notified through when an application has been assigned to you for review. It's very important that you fill in this information the first time you use the LCRB licensing portal. If there is no email address listed here, you will not receive an email notification when a special event permit application has been assigned to you. The section Police Details contains information about your jurisdiction. The section Police Addresses displays the address, phone number, and email address for your jurisdiction. This is the email address by which the police of jurisdiction is notified that there is an event application in their area. It's important to ensure that all information on this page is always up to date. Use the Save and Continue button to save any changes you make. Returning to the home page, let's now go into the All Applications tab. This is a list of all event applications in your police jurisdiction. You will see when each application was submitted, the name of the event, and the start date of the event. Under the Status column, Issued means that a special event permit application has been approved, the fee has been paid, and the permit has been issued. It's important to note that events with attendees under 500 people will be automatically approved by the system as long as liquor service is not requested beyond 10 p.m. for outdoor events or 2 a.m. for indoor events. 
pending review means that the special event permit application is awaiting review by your police jurisdiction and possibly by the LCRB. Approved means that the special event permit application has been approved either automatically by the system or manually by the police and the LCRB. A fee has not yet been paid by the applicant. As such, the special event permit has not yet been issued. This page will soon include a feature to help you filter the applications according to their status. Under the column Assigned, if the application has been assigned to a member of your police jurisdiction, you will see that person listed here. Unassigned applications must be assigned to a specific person before they can be reviewed and a recommendation made for approval or denial. The system will permit any police user to assign an application to someone within their jurisdiction. To do this, click on the arrow to open the drop-down menu and select an assignee. Once you click on the Assign button, that person will receive an email notifying them that the application is awaiting their review. Use these arrows at the bottom of the page to navigate to subsequent pages, as there may be more events in your police jurisdiction. To look at a specific application, just click on the event name. Now that we have looked at the All Applications tab, let's look at the My Jobs tab. The My Jobs tab lists all applications that have been assigned to you for review. If an application needs to be assigned to someone else, go to the Action column. Click on the arrow to open the drop-down menu, select the new assignee, and click on the Reassign button. The application will then disappear from your My Jobs tab. Click on the event name to look at the details of a special event permit application. You are now looking at a specific application. The box on the right shows you the current status of the application. This Reviews are assigned to section will show you the status of both the police and LCRB reviews. Here you will see the status of the application once again. The event type will also be listed here. For example, if the event is a birthday, wedding, or music festival. Here you'll also see the size of the event. A small event has up to 250 attendees. A medium event has between 251 and 500 attendees. And a large event is classified as having over 500 attendees. This section also tells you how many locations the event covers. Under General Application Information, you will see the police jurisdiction where the event is happening. In some cases, an applicant may enter incorrect information about the police jurisdiction, and your jurisdiction may receive events that belong to another jurisdiction. For instance, an application may come to the Vancouver Police even though the event is within the jurisdiction of the West Vancouver Police. If this happens, use the drop-down menu here to select the correct police jurisdiction based on the event address. After making the selection, click on the Change City button. The application will then be removed from your My Jobs list and the new police jurisdiction will be notified about the application. The section General Application Information will list the applicant's name, phone number and email address. The Eligibility section displayed here will show you information about the event start date, the applicant's Serving It Right or Special Event Service Certification, the organization applying for the permit, the occasion, whether the venue has a liquor license, and whether the event is taking place on public property. Some events may have multiple liquor service areas. For example, a wedding could have one service area for cocktail hour and another service area for the reception. Each service area will be listed here. Details in this section will also include whether there will be minors in the area, the number of minors, as well as the dates and times for the event. The Liquor Fees section of the application will show you the applicant's estimated liquor quantities 
and financial information based on their liquor purchases and sales estimates. Once you have reviewed the application, return to the top of the page. You may now either recommend approval of this permit application or recommend denial of the permit application. If you recommend denial of the application, you must provide a reason. The applicant will be able to view the reason provided. If you recommend approval of the permit, you also have the option to recommend the addition of terms and conditions to the permit. To add a term and condition, click on Permit Terms and Conditions. Type one term and condition in the box, click on the Add TNC button, and repeat this process, adding each term and condition individually. When you have added all recommended terms and conditions, click on Save TNCs and you will return to the summary of the application. To complete your recommendation of approval for the permit, click the Complete Review box. If an application requires review by the police and no action is selected, then the permit application will remain in the system awaiting review and will not be processed. This will not be the case for automatically approved applications. That brings us to the end of our review of the LCRB licensing portal for special event permits. If you have questions about applying for a business BCE ID, contact the BCE ID help desk. If you have questions about how to use the licensing portal or about special event permits, contact the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch.